Hello again, BGFH back here for one little wrap-up video of the Chivalry Medieval Warfare look here. And we're starting a new match. I'm going to play my Vanguard class. As you can see, I've got my first tier of swords pretty leveled up there. I'm going to choose that one. And I'm going to choose that as my secondary weapon, and let's go. Uh, I've actually tried recording these videos a few times already, and I'm getting kind of annoyed because um, I've been encountering a problem <clears throat> in many modern games lately, and I started noticing it when I was playing Borderlands 2 with a friend of mine, and what happens is I'll be playing along, it'll be playing fine, and then the game will just exit. Or it, it, the game won't exit, but it'll just kick me out to the desktop, like I alt-tabbed away, and I don't. Uh, the game doesn't crash. All I have to do is go right back in, and I can do it, but when I'm recording, it really screws with my uh, Fraps software. So I've actually tried recording footage of this game, I think, two or three times already. And so that's why I'm splitting this up into two videos right now, because... Oh, come on, man. Oh, so you kill him. Yeah! Can I kill you, buddy? Um... But yeah, so what'll happen... Come on, hit him. I see you were going around the pillar. Damn it, come on. Gotta kill the... Yeah, there we go. Uh oh Okay. So if I alt-tab back, then it'll work. And originally I thought it was a video card issue. I upgraded the drivers and double-checked everything. That didn't matter. Uh, that was, it still did it. My current theory, and I don't know why you would do this, but my current theory is that I just have this cheap Logitech keyboard, maybe $15, $20 keyboard. And it seems it happens if I hit like, a bunch of keys on the mouse at once while I'm trying to run, and I'm trying to, like, run forward and diagonal and hold the shift key to run, and then I'm clicking, my game just goes nuts, and I think that's maybe what does it. I have gone into, like, the accessibility features and disabled, you know, like, the shift key command to enable, like, sticky keys and stuff like that. Oh, that's bullshit. Come on. Hit him! Yeah! Oh! Kill it! See, it catches on the environment. I would have killed that guy. But I'm in this little narrow area with his big-ass sword. Um, so, yeah, I've been fighting that a lot the last little while, just in gaming. So, I'm, I'm debating on just trying to get a new keyboard. A better keyboard that won't go crazy. And I don't know if that's the problem, but... That's my current theory. So if any of you guys have experienced that at all, like I said, the game doesn't crash, just kicks you out to the desktop, uh, alt-tab back into the game, and you're good. But if you guys have experienced that or have heard of that problem before, do let me know in the comments, and if you know the solution, because, oh geez, uh, it's, like I said, it's really obnoxious, especially when trying to record a video. Um, how are we doing so far? Eh, middle of the pack. Doing all right. So like I said, we're playing the Vanguard class right now. He's the two-handed weapon guy. I got this nice sword going on here. Um, see what we can find for dudes to kill here. I think I've covered, like I said, a lot of the gameplay. Hey, Jesus! How did... Stab him. Oh! Kick! Oh, that was terrible. This guy has that running attack you've probably seen me do a couple of times so far, where he's just, he'll just roar as you're attacking, and that's more of a jumping lunge attack that can be really awesome if you pull it off. Like that! Yeah! Huh. Come on! Shit! I'm running out of stamina. Oh! I think I killed somebody, or somebody killed somebody. Oh man, and I just died. 
Eh. Still middle of the pack. I was hoping I could climb the ranks here. No way to want my secondary weapon here. Uh. Oh! Oh, okay. Quit. Oh god. Kick him! Oh. Yeah, I was running low on stamina there. But what I was saying at the end of the last video was that I can definitely see this game being my main competitive game that I'll play for quite a while now. And I don't play too many competitive games just mainly because I'm terrible at them and I just don't have the time to devote to get really good. But occasionally, you know, I'll get a game that'll just click. And I'll usually stick to that game for quite a while, especially if there's an active player base for it. So, you know, back in the day I would play Half-Life, the original Half-Life a lot. Quake 1 and Quake 3 I played forever. Quake 3 especially. I, I still love a good Quake 3 match, Quake 3 Arena match. Um, a few years ago, my friend and I, we really got into the first... Fear game, First Encounter Assault Recon. Um, that is a first-person shooter, and that is one I definitely will cover on my channel at some point, just because that's another one of my really favorite games in recent years. And then, naturally, you know, we went to Left 4 Dead, and I still really love that game. Oh, you didn't kill it! Come on, let me... Come on... Kill it again! Come on! Oh, I'm too far away. Shit, come on. Oh, couldn't stab him. Killed the one guy, though. But... Yeah. But yeah, so... Yeah, I st still play Left 4 Dead, but uh, competitively... I think Fear was my last game I really got into. So... I think this one will yeah. be the new one, though. And I could definitely see, you know, just having uh, some game footage on in the background. Like, if there's a time where I just want to do, like, some kind of video and talk about some kind of particular topic and just have something interesting to look at in the background, I could, you know, see coming back to this. And I know I'm only showing you guys the free-for-all matches right now and just some of the basic gameplay stuff. But if you... Oh, Jesus. If you are interested... Come on. If you... Oh, right. I kicked that guy to death. Nice. Uh, if you are interested in seeing some of these more, you know, like, team-based games and how that... You know, how easy those are to see or some of the more objective just to see, kind of like I said, some of the cool objective-based things that they do. Oh! There's so many guys I could have capitalized on that. Man. Well, I'm not going to make it really high in the ranks today, but eh, if we're doing commentary, I wouldn't say I'm doing too bad. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Down with you and your big old shield. Uh-oh. <laughs> Just stab him. Come on. Frick. Alright. But that is a quick look at Chivalry Medieval Warfare. Like I said, if this re looks remotely interesting to you, I would highly recommend it, because, like I said, it came out of nowhere for me, and I didn't know anything about it until not very long ago, but ever since I tried it, I've been hooked. Uh, I've, always, I've wanted a game like this forever. You know, I've loved first-person games, I love medieval stuff, swords and stuff like that, so I wanted a game like this forever. Um, and we finally really got a good one. Yeah! Oh, you're still not... Okay, I was going to say, you're still not dead? You better be. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ah, shit. Get out of my way. Okay, there's dudes. Can I slice? Uh! Shit, I'm on a stamina. Uh-oh, this is not going to be good for me. No. But, I hope you enjoyed the video, and like I said, just let me know if you want to see more. 
and um, there actually there was another game that came out right around the same time called The War of the Roses, which is a third person kind of game similar to this, and I haven't played it yet. I've looked at, a, you know, like some footage of it and stuff online, but this one just seemed like more my style. Uh, if uh, if it does, if War of the Roses does go on sale at some time in the near future or sometime, I may check that out too, and if it's cool, I'll take a look at it on the channel here. But, like I said, uh, definitely a game type I've been wanting for quite a while. And definitely recommend it. So I will end the video here, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later.